Hey, what's up, YouTube? In today's video, we're going to be learning how to get INDS on our iDevice running the latest firmware. Just to let you guys know, this method is not permanent. It's only temporary. It lasts about seven days. So make sure that you guys back up your game saves when you do this. The two things that we are going to need for this is the INDS IPA and a program called Cydia Impactor. I'll have both of these in the description down below. Once you guys have got both of these, we're going to just drag and drop the INDS IPA into Cydia Impactor. Sign in with your iTunes email. Put in your Apple password. Once you guys done this, let Cydia Impactor do its thing. Once the Cydia Impactor is done installing the IPA, it'll appear like magic on your phone. Once it appears, we're going to go into settings, general, scroll down to you see device management, and then we're going to trust the app. Once it's trusted, we're going to go back to the INDS app and it opens. Now to get ROMs, we're going to press the little search icon on the top right. I'm going to go to Love ROMs, scroll down, and I'm going to choose Heart Gold. The only problem with this is INDS does not support RAR files and you'll get an error notification like I am. So I'm going to go to another site, Emu Paradise, and I'm going to download Pokemon Black. And it downloads just fine. And once it finishes downloading, you can launch it normally. But let's say that you already have ROMs and game saves on your desktop or on another device and you want to transfer them to your new device. So we're going to go back to our computer, connect both devices into the computer, open up iTunes, select a device that has the ROMs, then click on apps, scroll down to file sharing, click on the INDS app, highlight the files that you want, drag and drop them onto your desktop. Once the files are done copying onto your desktop, we're gonna select the new device, click on apps, scroll down to file sharing, click on INDS, and we're gonna drag and drop the files that we copied onto our desktop onto the new device, into the INDS documents. Once the files finish copying onto your new device, we're gonna open up the app, or if you already have it open, press the little settings button on the top left, then go to current ROM and your ROMs will be there, as well as your game saves. And last but not least, your cheat files as well. So if this video worked for you, hit that like button down below, comment if you need help, and subscribe for more videos. iPhone spec here. Peace out.